Blessings in favor. I am Lewis Wiltshire, a bishop in the kingdom of God and senior pastor of the Jesus Foundation Family Church in Carson, California. And I'd like to welcome you all to the Kingdom Forum. Now, today, I had a meeting with the board and I got reprimanded because my role is to be the diplomat in many of our conversations. But I found in this particular conversation, I'm going to have to be in repentance. Uh, so you're going to understand in a minute. We're having the roundtable segment. And the conversation today is Christian classification. In other words, what does it mean to be a Christian? Now, let's break this down. KKK members call themselves Christians. Evangelicals call themselves Christians. Uh, basically, everybody's a Christian. Uh, and we all kind of group together, but you find that a lot of us don't hold the same concept or characteristics. In other words, how can you call yourself a Christian, but you think it's all right for darker believers to be abused? How can you call yourself a Christian and hate your brother? How can you call yourself a Christian and support those who clearly operate in a demonic mentality and then in turn try to justify them? But yet, those that are Christians, you don't say to the world that treating young black men like that are wrong. But then they're your biggest supporter and you don't have no problem taking their money. So who's the Christian here? Uh, so, and I, we found out in our discussion that we're all lumped together and we're all called Christians. But we don't all act the same. Amen. Uh, so it's going to be an interesting conversation today. So in this conversation, we have the roundtable folk. You know them. Uh, we have one special guest uh, who you've seen in a previous segment. But first, let me introduce again Bishop Jocka C. Bishop Johnson, Henry Johnson, and Dr. Calvin Gross. Gentlemen, welcome to the Kingdom Forum. All right. So, studio audience, you know the drill, the rules of engagement. Uh, and I'm going to even take it here. If you all have a comment or a question, There we go. We're going to take it there. You got a comment or question? We'll, re we'll, we'll respond. Ooh, the gloves are off. Oh, yeah. We, uh, this is called mm. we knuckling up. Mm, knuckling so up. Mm. let's start with this. And, I, and, I, and I, uh, uh, any of you can take it or all of you can take it. What's a Christian? <laughs> <laughs> you want to go biblically? <laughs> or biblically? you want to go philosophically? Okay. You well, let's start go... biblically because we, we want the true foundation of it. And then give me your philosophy, philosophy behind it. And then we can shift it to psychology. Come on. Okay. okay. Um, the term. Yes. The word. Christian endeavors to 
have Christ-like qualities. Yes. Okay. Um, understanding that we all have been clumped together in a pot and the pot kind of looks like goulash. Okay. Mm. You know what goulash is, mm. right? <laughs> yeah. It's a bunch of stuff in there. Um, and sometimes you really don't even know what's in the pot. Um, the world has a problem with the word that we use. Mm -hmm. Now, we have accepted the word Christian. Yes. Whereas in the Bible, the first mentioning of it, uh, I think it was in the book of Acts. Yes. Uh, where was chapter 9, 7, uh, right around, around there, there somewhere? Right around there. Um, when, when Peter went with Barnabas and they found out that the heathens had received the word and the Holy Ghost and they went to go teach them and they called them. That was the first time the word was being used as Christian. Yeah. But what, what, what I found interesting is, is, is this. Uh, in the dynamic of, of when you opened up, you mentioned some groups. Um, and I won't go into detail with the groups. <laughs> but the groups that you mentioned, Anglo-Saxons, they called themselves Christians. KKK, they call themselves Christians. I'm going to mention them anyway. Right. Um, 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 uh, <laughs> evangelicals, they call themselves Christians. But let's just cut but, to well, the Well, let's church. go here. Even our, even our president. Even our president. Calls okay. himself a Christian. Oh, Jesus. 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 <laughs> we want to go put on a couple of, Help me, Lord. Help me. <laughs> Coming on the Honda. Um, <laughs> um, let me put it to you this way. There should be some principles uh -huh. that are visible. <laughs> yes. Let, let, let me just cut to the chase. Yes. They need to be visible. Yes. In order to receive this word. Now, I, I have a problem with the word. Yes. And I'm just going to be honest with you. Yes, please. I, I truly do have a problem with the word. Yes, sir. Because when, when and, and I, have, I only use myself. I don't use other people. I use me because I know me. I don't even trust me, but I know me. Yes. All right. right. After researching and studying the Bible, I, I, I found out that they were simply, they were called first believers and disciples, or yes. disciples and believers. Yes, yes. But I found out that when they begin to talk about the disciples and the believers, they profiled them. Mm -hmm. Yes, they did. Oh, yes, they did. Okay. That's good. Y'all not walking with me right no, now? No, no, we there. That's good. Huh. That's good. <laughs> so they profiled them. We talking doing the realm of Rome. Right. Antioch was somewhere in Turkey, but it was under Roman rulership. Rule. Yeah, that's right. And then, so in order to identify them, they profiled them and they gave them the name Christian. Christian. That's right. Now watch this. Watch this. I have to take it there because we at the round table and you said we had, when we had the round table, we had like it was cheesecake factory. We, we cut to the chase at cheesecake factory. Yes, right. we do. <laughs> now, I'm going to use a scenario for everybody in the room. And it's the N word. Uh huh. Come on. Because you're in the Holy Ghost right now, son. You're in the Holy Ghost. <laughs> it's the N word. Uh huh. We as black people, have incorporated that word into our dialect. Yes. It was given to us. It was a profile that was labeled on us. Yes. And so throughout years and years and centuries, we indoctrinated ourselves, and now we use it as a term of endearment Sometimes, yes, but it just means it, it means on the context on how you use it, right? Okay, yeah. so, but everybody that you 
mention the name to has been thrown into the pot. Yeah. But you don't know what type of person they really are. Yeah. What believers have done is incorporated a word that was given by pagans. That's, yes. That's correct. That is correct. And because the word was given by pagans, now they engulfed it and say we can use it to identify ourselves from everybody else, which was at maybe one point it was good. But later down the line, as things begin to break down, now everybody's a Christian. Right. Right. But the world will say something to you that if you don't demonstrate the principles mm -hmm. that we talk about that's in this book, and they'll say this, and, and y'all have heard it so many times, and you call yourself a, a Christian. Christian. <laughs> <laughs> So what I'm saying, what, 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 what am I saying? What am I saying? What is a Christian? Well, biblically, the, 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 a Christian is somebody or a believer, because I, I, I just don't like the word. Uh, a believer is somebody who demonstrates the principles of God. Yes. yes. Paul said this, and I tell my church this all the time. There are certain scriptures and words that have been in, engrafted into my spirit. One of them is uh, Romans chapter 12, verses 1 and 2. I beseech you, brethren, by mm -hmm. the mercies of God, yeah. that you present your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy, we, oh my God, right. <laughs> holy and acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. Now, see, people don't understand that word reasonable right. service means it's your spiritual duty. Yes. Yes. This is how you present yourself to God. Holy and consecrated. Yes. Sanctified. Yes. The second part is simply this, and this is where it loses because now everyone who calls themselves a Christian, you cannot separate yourself from the world. You cannot identify. Now watch this. And, I, and, 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 and let me give you a cliche. When you, when you see uh, 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 somebody that's Hindu, can you identify them? Yep. You can, can yep. you? Yep. Okay. Um, a Sikh, not a Muslim, but it's a Sikh. They wear the turban that's high upon their head. Right. Mm -hmm. You can identify them, right? Yes. <laughs> Muslims. You can identify them. You can identify them. Yeah. Right? Mm hmm Buddhist. Mm hmm You surely can identify them. You can identify them. I mean, come on, come on now. All right, right? You, it, 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 there's something different. But when you say Christian. Right. Uh-oh. <laughs> wow. Man, it's so vast. Right. Because what's happening is Christians or believers are not demonstrating to the world that they're different than the world. Yes. God said, be ye separated. Yes. Come from among them. Yes. I don't need you to act like them. Yes. When you want to slap somebody, you say, oh, Lord, help me out right now. Yes. And what you do is, what you do is, you, 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 you reservate yourself and you, you take a step back. You say, you know what? I'm not pleased with you right now. I really want to put my hands on you right now, but 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 because of who I am, yeah, and who God has made me to be, this is what I have to do. I got to turn around and walk away from you. Yes, sir. <laughs> so you turned me loose. I can't help it. I, I, and I have, and you ain't trying to hear me try to reel you in either. All right, so. Would it be fair to say, and, and we've talked about this, so I, I'm going to throw it out there just to trigger because uh, uh, I want to provoke the other two. Would it be fair to say that believers, or what the world recognizes to be Christian, which we can't clearly identify, uh, but would it be fair to say that within what they call, quote-unquote, Christianity, 
can we, we're able, uh, and let me throw this, uh, Bishop Johnson, you've been in this longer than any of us. Within the Christianity community, a Christian community, can we identify those that we recognize or understand to be disciples? You talking to me? I'm talking to anybody that want to chime in. Well, I'll chime in. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> um, as an old-fashioned person, I learned that Christianity was to be a follower of Jesus Christ. Yes. Now, how well I follow can be determined by those who are judging. Mm -hmm. But there's no real judge but God himself. Right. So I'm not going to discard or dislike mm -hmm. the term Christianity. Right. Because that's who I believe I am. I believe right. I'm a Christian. I believe I'm a follower of Jesus Christ. Uh -huh. I believe what Jesus said, upon this rock I'll build my church, and we have the church. Right. That houses the Christian family. Mm -hmm. Now, the world's going to always try to put some terms on Christianity because mm -hmm. the devil's in control of the world. Mm -hmm. But I'm not going to worry about that right? because Jesus says in chapter 5 how we are, mm -hmm. what we are. Right. And those are principles mm -hmm. of what a Christian is like. Agreed. Now, here's what we want to talk about. There are those that clearly and, and I believe Elder Johnson used the term. Uh, willing ignorance. Mm -hmm. There are those who know the principle. Come on. Lay hold of the title Christian, but willingly don't do it. Come on. Now. Guess what? Come on. God will judge that, not me. No, it's not a matter of judgment. Now, I, I agree. No, no disagreement on that. We're not talking. Watch this. Talk to me. We're not talking uh, from a ethnological ethom disposition, judgment. We're talking. Watch this. And, 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 and so for the audience's sake and for those, the viewers, we're setting up for a conversation we want to have in regards to the disparity of folk that represent mm -hmm. the believers mm -hmm. uh -huh. who are really not representing the believers. Let me go here. You can't promote or support or justify the leader of the free world mm -hmm. when he is the biggest <laughs> Watch yourself. right uh when you met, uh, messing with women, uh, 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 mm. uh, when, when you are grabbing on women body parts, mm -hmm. you acknowledge it and say they like it. Mm -hmm. You're the biggest number one. Mm -hmm. okay, biggest thing going. Mm -hmm. Promote another guy who got accused of even worse yeah. and say he all right and then they vote him in. Now you got Christian believers right. yes. supporting that. Here's what nobody knows. Why did John the Baptist get his head cut off? Because wow. he told the ruler that you shouldn't be married to that woman because right. that woman was not. It's your brother's wife. Right. 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 So now where do us as believers, Christians, draw the line? Draw the line? And so here's what the problem is. You got those folk representing all of us. That's right. Saying this is what it, it, it and that's not what we prescribe here. So now that it's not a matter of judgment, Bishop. It's a matter of letting the world know who the real believers are. Who we really are. That's why the question wow. is, who are Christians? Because the folks that's representing us on the worldwide scale ain't representing this. So now the world needs to understand who we are for real. We're not going to support. Now, I don't judge the president, but I'm not going to let the president get up there and call himself a Christian when he clearly is not willing to prescribe. Mm -hmm. That's right. See, what is our responsibility to that, Bishop? Right. 
Our responsibility is to proclaim what Christianity is, not throw it out the window. Right. Our responsibility is to proclaim what Christ calls us to be. Absolutely. And act on that. And our responsibility is to be bold enough to say, he's not a Christian, he's not a part of me. Thank you. That's where we at. Thank you. Thank, thank you. Now, that's... Yes, sir. The woman with the issue of blood uh, made a proclamation. Mm -hmm. She said, if I could only touch the hem of his garment, I will be made whole. And then she took an action. What's interesting about that entire story is that the Bible says that there were multitudes mm -hmm. thronging him. Yes. And that word thronging for the audience, it means bumping and touching him. Yeah. And the Bible says that he was on his way. Uh, and something <laughs> touched him. <laughs> uh -huh. You know yes, what I'm sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right, and he stopped. And he said, who touched me? Now, the church. Speak, speak. Uh-huh. The disciples were a representation of the church today yeah. because they were the only disciplined followers at that time. Yes. So the church turned to Christ yes. and said, all these folk right. <laughs> touching you, yeah. and you have the audacity to say, right. who touched me? Right. And he said, power just left me. Come on. Yes. Now, the revelation in that is this. You have followers of Christ. Uh-huh. And you have believers of Christ. Uh-huh. I'd rather have one believer than a thousand followers. Right. Because a believer can activate his own healing. Yes. Because he understands the principles mm -hmm. of this book. Yes. So if you are not exemplifying the principles of this book, uh -huh. then you don't meet the prerequisites oh. to call yourself a believer. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We are believers of Christ yes, sir. and his word. And my second point, Bishop, is, <laughs> come on now. Preach. Come on. Preach. The, Citizenship is determined by the region in which you are born in. So if you are born in Africa, you are an African. Amen. If you are born in Australia, then that makes you an Australian. Right? If you are born again, come on now, you are a citizen in the kingdom of God. And you need to stop putting all these titles on yourself but what you are, which is a citizen. And as a citizen, I have to conduct myself that's as right. a citizen yes. in the kingdom yeah. of God. Yeah. And that's how you're going to be able to distinguish me from somebody who calls themselves a Christian. Yes. Yes. Oh, my God. Very good. We are going yes. to have. To do this again? To do this again. <laughs> we are we out of time. Done. But Woo. let me say this in conclusion and to confirm all that was said. This is what Dr. Gross said. The one with the issue of blood, because she touched him. She received power. The problem that we have as believers today is we don't operate like we got power. That's right. Hmm. That's right. And the folks who claim to be who we are are just louder than we are. Come on. Whoa. Come on. And we're sitting silent. <laughs> Come on. Like we ain't got no power. Exactly. Exactly. Come on. So now here's what we're finna do today. Uh -oh. Yeah, bro. We Woo. finna challenge the false. Come on. Uh, the yeah. false believers, because you are powerless. But those with real power who touch Christ. Woo! Ah, yeah. Glory. We are reclaiming, we're going to operate according to the power.
to which we are given of the Holy Spirit Amen. and the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus and we're going to regain the influence of the world Woo! hallelujah and so we will pick this up again I promise you I promise you we are not done and so always we thank you for the viewers to watch us please share please like go to the cross TV wow. network share and like please so that we get the notoriety that we need to get with the network and the network gets the accountability that they get for airing this secondly all ministries need economics to maintain itself so if you will please be so kind uh, whatever God puts on your heart there is no amount too small if I had a million people give a dollar each Amen. that's right we would be all right so you can go to drwilcher.com click on any icon and an opportunity to give will be given you can send it to the P.O. box make a check or money order to Lewis Wilcher Ministries in the comments put kingdom form and I promise you that your finances will be spent with accountability and stewardship and so I'd like to thank Bishop Jocasey, Bishop Henry Johnson and Dr. Calvin Gross for their gifts and their anointing their valued input and wisdom in this conversation and trust me we're not done and so I bid you peace grace and mercy be unto you until next time this is Bishop Lewis Wiltshire and we will see you on the next segment of the Kingdom Forum God bless you